All right. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Village Leadership Academy. Happy Friday to you all. We are here together again for our weekly assembly. I hope you all are feeling great, feeling good, feeling rejuvenated. It's Friday. And although we know for most of our VLA uh, students, this is an assessment day where we assess all the things that we learned throughout the week. I'm sure there's some things we can highlight and celebrate uh, because of the week and things that you can think about that made you really happy throughout this week. I'm happy we're here together. We're gonna get started with our principal affirmation. And for those of you who don't know, I am your assistant principal, Ms. Coney Bajay. Today is a new day for us to learn. We're gonna think with our hearts, work with our hands, be nice to our friends, and respect all teachers and all students. And I am certain that all of our VLA community is ready because what do we say? We are always ready. So today's assembly is going to be about the GRC um, topics and your GRC topics. We're gonna hear from each and every one of you all. Uh, and you guys are gonna share what you all have been discussing in your GRC classes, what topics you chose, um, why you chose those topics, and one new learning that has occurred as a result of your research. But before we get into that, like in traditional fashion, we are going to move into our student affirmation. And I am honored. VLA community. I am so honored to have our second grade class uh, kick off the student affirmation for us. So I am going to go ahead and spotlight our second grade class. Don't they look amazing? They look amazing. So second grade, I'm going to turn it over to you on account of Jale too you all are going to share the student affirmation. Ja, lay, tu. I am young, strong, and proud. I love myself, my family, and my community. I can do anything I set my mind to. remarkable. You all did such a wonderful job. Thank you all. It was so good to see you all. I know you all are going to hop off really soon so you can also get prepared to share your GRC presentation with us. Thank you so much, second grade. That was amazing. Thank you. All right, beautiful people. So today we're going to do things a little differently. I am going to have our lovely director of student affairs, Ms. Henderson. <laughs> she is going to come around to each of your classrooms and kind of like in an interview fashion, ask you all about questions or have, have you all answer questions about your GRC topic. And it's just the few questions. What is your GRC topic? Um, how did you come up with this GRC topic? Why did you choose it? And what new learnings might have occurred during your research on your GRC topic? So Ms. Henderson is going to go to each classroom and ask you all these questions. We're excited to hear about you all. It's not, this is not high risk, so please, no pressure. If you all have something prepared, then you can um, just tell Ms. Henderson that. If uh, you want Ms. Henderson to just ask those questions to you all, 
you can let her know that too. So we're going to go ahead and kick it off with uh, and it's kind of like word on the street. I've been trying to do this word on the street thing for a minute. Um, <laughs> it's the word at VLA, the GRC word at VLA. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our kindergarten class, our kindergarten A class, Miss Spikes's kindergarten class. Good morning, VLA. We're going to go ahead and enter into our kindergarten class and I see I have some lovely students who are ready. Good morning, kindergarten. Good morning, Good morning Ms. Spikes. Good morning, Ms. Robo. All right, so are you guys ready? Yes. Oh, what do we say? Are we? We are always ready. Beautiful. All right, well, let us begin. So Ms. Henderson is coming around to ask questions about our grassroots campaign topic. So can you guys let me know what is your topic? What did you choose? Go ahead, Kason. Litter. You chose the topic of littering, okay? Um, why did you guys choose this topic? Big voice. Because you had a vote. You had a vote? And what did you vote on? Litter. Litter? You vote on littering? Okay, and what have you learned so far about littering? Go ahead, Kaysen. They hurt the animals. Oh, loud and proud. They hurt the animals in the sea. Litter. Oh, littering hurts the animals in the sea. Is there someone else? Oh, okay. Mateo? How does litter make us feel? Sad. When we see it in our what? What's that Community. big word? Good. Oh, great job. And our last friend? Community. Uh, 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 Loud and proud. Where we live. Live in yeah. our community. That's right. Community means where we live. Awesome job. Thank you so much, kindergarten. We can't wait to see what else you learn about littering. Thank you, Ms. Henderson. Thank you, Ms. Henderson. All right, awesome. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to our kindergarten A class. So we're gonna keep it moving to our kindergarten B class, kindergarten B, Ms. Forsey's class. So now we, we know we have a topic around littering, and I can't wait to see what actions you all are gonna develop around that. We're gonna move and transition to our kindergarten B class, Miss Forsey's kindergarten. All right, good morning, kindergarten. Good morning. We have our second kindergarten class, Miss Forsey's class, and we have our teacher assistant, Miss Farguson. What? Are we ready? Oh, what do we say? Are we ready? Yeah. We are always ready. So who would like to tell me about their grassroots campaign topic? Ms. Forsey, you can go ahead and pick a student. Uh, Ms. Henderson, we actually put through a little something. I'm going to tell you what our topic is, but then we're going to want friends to help us share what we've learned about our topic. So we've been talking in grassroots campaign, and we also had a vote like the other kindergarten class. And we voted that we're going to study people experiencing homelessness as our topic. This was something that we voted on. And we've been talking a lot about the needs that people have and how people experiencing homelessness. A lot of times it's really hard to have these needs met. So we've been talking about needs and human rights a lot. So I have some pictures on the screen. And I'm looking for a friend with a bubble in their mouth and a hand raised to tell me each need that we talked about. Trayvon, what is this a picture of? What need is this? Ooh, Myla, eggs and vegetables are what types of what? What, Myla? Um, food. Right, we talked about how people need food. All right, I'm looking for someone else with a bubble in their mouth and a hand raised. To tell me what need this is. Amaya, what's something else people need? Water. Water, clean water. We talked about how people need access to clean water. All right, someone else with a bubble in their mouth. 
hand raised. Mariana, what's another need that people have? They need a house to live inside. People need homes. People need shelter. And that's the last thing we talked about. I see so many friends ready to share. Desiree, what's another need that people have? What do people need to do? Sleep to get them rest to make them body feel good. Right? People need rest to make their body feel good. So that's kind of what we started so far. Can everybody give a wave? Sure. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you so much, kindergarten. I can't wait to see and hear about what else you're going to learn next. Yeah, that sounds like a really, really good topic. Um, an important topic to tap into is, uh, homelessness and then also thinking about all the fundamental needs and basic needs that everyone should have access to. Thank you for that kindergarten. So we're gonna transition into our first grade classroom, Miss Leopoldo. Good morning, Violet. Good morning, Violet. Good morning, Violet. Good morning. Oh, we can do better than that first grade. All right, awesome. Go ahead, Miss Leopoldo. All right. Well, Callie, what is our topic for GRC? Well, our topic for GRC is littering. Is littering. Is littering. Anything else you want to talk about littering? Well, we have <laughs> Loud and proud voice. Loud and proud. Well, we have to make sure well, we chose littering because we wanted to make sure our animals in our community is nice and safe with no blood. Because if we have blood, that means we have to pay for all the garbage and put it back in the trash can because we don't want it in the water for nice creatures and nice water at the beach. We we'll make sure that we don't want that to happen because if we have that happen, then we won't make, then that means we won't be paying attention to us. Mm. And Jason, how can we pick littering as our topic? Because our whole topic. Because the whole earth would be flooded with trash. And we don't want that to happen because everyone would get sick. And there and the COVID nineteen go out and there's germs. And all the animals would get sick and we would die. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jason. And Liam, can you share something that you have learned about littering? Um, Loud and proud for us, please. I saw on Google um a a dad. A dad, um, a dad whale and a dad, um, a dad turtle. What happened they, to the whale and the turtle? He, he ate too much garbage. And how did the garbage get there? Why did they eat it? People threw it in the water. Mm. Thank you, Leo. Miss Henderson. It's Callie's birthday today. Oh, oh yeah. thank you, Sincere. Sincere want us to know that today is Callie's birthday. <laughs> thank right. you so Happy much. Birthday, Callie. Happy birthday, Callie. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, first grade. You all were amazing. Happy birthday, Callie. Uh, so now we know we have three topics, uh, two topics with littering. So that sounds like there could be a team up there between K-8 and first. And then homelessness. We're going to transition into second grade and hear from Mr. Reed's second grade class. Good morning, second grade. Good morning, Ms. Henderson. Great job on doing the student affirmation this morning. Good morning, Mr. Reed. All right, are we ready, second grade? We are all Let us begin. Can you guys tell me what your GRC topic is? Oh, Mr. Reed, can you do the pleasure of choosing the student? Ryan, please share with us what is our GRC topic? Car accidents. Car accidents. Car accidents. Oh, what about car accidents? Why did you guys choose this topic? Go ahead, Because we have. Vote. You had more people that voted on car accidents, okay? Why else? Why else would you choose that topic? Because most of us choose car accidents. 
right? Most of you chose Carson, but what were the other options, right? Before we voted, right, there were other options. What were those other options? Does someone remember? Uh, Asan, what do you remember? Um, there are other options that what other topics did you guys right. choose from? Brainstorming activity on the board, right? And Mr. Reed wrote in the green markers, and we had to choose a bunch of different topics before we decided. What were some of the other options that we talked about? What are some other things we talked about? Mario. Homelessness, right? That was an option. Okay. What else? Layla. House buyers, oh. right? Kingston, what do you have? Um, the last one was Carson. Right, and the last choice was Carson, right? And then we had a vote. But why did so many people choose car accidents? Shiloh, can you tell Miss Innocent? Oh, she's on you. Can you tell her why did we choose car accidents? Do you remember? Yes. Um, because sometimes. Loud and proud. Um, because sometimes it happens in the community. That's how you remember. All right, that's okay. Someone else? Avion, go ahead. Because some people have car accidents and sometimes they get really emotional. All right, so sometimes people are really impacted by car accidents. All right. And then, but have we chosen a question yet? Someone told this in the in the OA community. Have we chosen an actual question? Or do we still need help? Lauren, what do you think? We have not um, had a question, so probably we still need help. All right, so we still need a little help. So we show the topic, right? But we're still trying to hone in on how we can impact our community with that topic. All right, thank you so much. So guess what? Ms. Henderson did a GRC topic on safe driving um, about three, four years ago. So I think I can come in and assist and support you second grade. Yay, Bo? Yay, Bo! All right. Thank you, Ms. Anderson. Such an important topic. And, and really, I mean, uh, car accidents are things that we commonly see because of distracted driving too. So um, and as we develop and continue to developing, develop our awareness, we can think about how folks are distracted when driving. We're going to keep moving along. You all are doing amazing. I'm loving these topics. Um, we're going to go into our third grade class and hear from Mr. Shaw's third grade. Good morning, third grade. Good morning, Good morning Mr. Shaw. Good morning. How are you? All right, third grade. Are we ready? We are always ready. Let us begin. Yay. Our topic is smoking. The first group, why did we just decide to smoke, decide to make smoking our GRC project? The first group. Who goes first? We wanted to find out why people smoke cigarettes. We wanted to find out if smoking is caused by the chain reaction. We wanted to find out why people are wasting their money on cigarettes. Okay. I find the second group. People smoke when they're under stress and they feel they need cigarettes too. Oh, you gotta pass the microphone. Calm down. Smoking can block your lungs and make it unhealthy. 
Some cancers are caused by smoking. Smoking can damage your colon and can have negative effects on your digestive system. People who smoke have breathing problems. I used to have next. A person's blood vessels become damaged from smoking. Right. Anthony? Okay, it's one more part. Some parent responses to why people smoke cigarettes. Group three. <laughs> To calm them ner their nerves so they can fit in with their friends. Some people like to smoke because it is a bad habit. All right. Thank you so much. And that is why we chose the topic of smoking. Great job, third grade. I can't wait to see what else you guys will uh, teach us about great job and even doing some extra steps in our grassroots uh, framework. Oh, wow. I mean, that was amazing. Thank you so much, fifth gra uh, third grade, for um, that brief presentation on your GRC topic. Um, so I am going to go ahead and keep it moving. We are going to uh, go into Miss Perry's fourth grade class, and just a reminder, these presentations are just really brief um, and they're not really, I mean, they're just share outs, right? They're not um, presentations, even though we want to present ourselves in the best, our best fashion. Um, so let's, let's move into fourth grade, Miss Perry's fourth grade class. Good morning, fourth grade. Good morning, Good morning Miss Perry. Good morning. All right, fourth grade. Who's going to do the honors of letting us know? In year two, our class read the books, We Are Water Protectors by Carol Lindstrom. Carol Lindstrom says we fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. Because of that, our class has chosen to focus our GRC campaign on animal rights. In our research, we discovered that some of our favorite kind of animals are being killed because of poaching, animal testing, and shelter overcrowding. Learning this made us sad because these animals reminded us of our pests that we love. Thank you. All right, awesome sauce. So is there anything that you guys have learned about the topic or why was it so important to us? Kyla? All right, thank you so much, um, fourth grade. We'll go ahead and go to our next fourth grade class, Mrs. Cody Bajay. Wait, I'm sorry, Ms. Henderson, can you share? Well, I did not hear their topic. Uh oh, um, their topic. Uh, Morgan, would you like to tell us again just the topic? They're focusing our GRC campaign on animal rights. They're focusing their GRC campaign on animal rights. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, fourth grade. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go ahead and move into Mr. Scruggs's fourth grade class. And Ms. Henderson, I'm not sure if you're you're sharing anything, but you're still on mute. Okay, there we go. Okay. Can you hear me now? 
Yep. All right. Good morning, 4B. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Mr. Scruggs. All right, Forbes, are we ready to let BLA community know about our... All right, let us begin. What is our GRC conference fourth grade? Good morning, BLA. Welcome to our fourth grade classroom. We are excited to introduce our grassroots campaign topic, Bullying and Bias. And Dave, how and why did we choose this topic? We chose this topic when our children are Democratic. Democratic. We took a vote. Everyone voice matters. And Rio, can you tell us what we've learned so far about bullying and bias? We learned that most people bully because they are different and because of their life problems. We deserve a school where everyone feels safe. Thank you, Rio. Thank you, Dean. Thank you for creating classroom. Thank you, Thank you. Oh, bye, fourth grade. Thank you guys so much. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, fourth grade. So I see we have topics on littering, homelessness, car accidents, smoking, animal rights, and bullying, all very important uh, topics to our communities, all very important topics that we can take actions around. And I think that's the most important thing about our GRC uh, camp, uh, our GRC projects and campaigns, that these are things where we're learning how to take action and how we can uh, be good activists in our communities. And actions don't have to always be these big, large, overwhelming things, but they can just be small actions. For example, if we're thinking about littering, maybe hosting a community cleanup. How can we provide basic needs to people who don't have access to it? These are things that we're thinking about as we are moving through our GRC topics and developing actions around these topics. So we heard from kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, and fourth grade. We are now about to hear from our fifth grade class, Ms. Hamilton's fifth Grade. Good morning, fifth grade. Good morning, Miss Hamilton. Good morning, Miss Hamilton. Good morning, Miss Henderson. All right, fifth grade. Are we ready? We are all ready. Let us begin. What is your GRC topic, Peyton? Oh, if they have the program. Oh, well, let's go. Go ahead. Um, um, Sasha, go ahead. Welcome. Um, our GRC topic is loud and proud. Our GRC topic is water issues and on um, sewage. Um, solution on how we fix continuity water. All right, great job. Who's next? Kai. Why? Loud and proud. Awesome. Peyton? Water issue. It's terrible for the earth and for our health. Contaminated water can come from sink tabs, bathtubs, and even the water you drink. We chose this because not only does it harm animals and plants, but it also affects the people of color and the lower class because the contaminated water and, and or polluted water is mostly given to colored people, which is racist. And they claim that there's not enough money to fix the pipes with the polluted water. We are working on fixing those pipes ourselves. Therefore, water issues is our topic. Awesome. All right, and here's a diagram. Awesome.
Awesome, awesome, excellent job, fifth grade. So I'm hearing that our topic is about water contamination. Again, things that people should have access to, clean water. All people should have access to clean water. And I, I, I like the idea that you all uh, discussed in bringing in race because we know race is an issue when we are thinking about things that impact access, right? So we're going to keep it moving to our sixth grade class. We have sixth grade um, and there we're going to hear from sixth grade and learn their GRC topic. May I speak? Yeah. Good morning, sixth grade. Good morning, Miss Are we ready? We are always ready. Do I have presenters in the class? Yes. All right. Let us begin. Loud and proud. Um, our GRC project is internet safety. We chose internet safety because it's a lot of people are a lot um, on internet more often and it's easy to get scammed and lose all your information. Awesome, great job. Were there any other topics that you guys had to choose from? Nicholas? There was better school curriculums, there was kidnapping, there was police brutality, littering and, and smoking in front of kids. Great job. And what have you learned from your topic already, sixth grade? What have you learned? Mentally? We learned not to believe everybody we find online. Okay. Uh, another thing, Neota? That the dark web is really real. Okay, that the dark web is really real. And lastly, Elena? We have learned not to believe everybody you see online that says, hey, you could get a free credit card, free $1,000. Like, just say they say, hey, you get a free credit card by giving us all your personal information. Okay. That's what we learned. We, we learned not to give all right awesome thank you so much sixth grade thank you thank you thank you thank you sixth grade amazing amazing work so we have now now we know our sixth graders are going to do a action around internet safety i am just so enthused about the number of topics that i'm hearing about hearing from each and every one of you all and the new learnings that have occurred around your topic it's um internet safety is important because we do know a lot of people are uh being unsafe and unkind um on the internet and there are ways that we can be um misused or mi there's a lot of miscommunication on the internet so and a lot of misinformation so that's such an important topic. We're going to move on to our seventh grade. Seventh grade, Miss May's homeroom class. And Miss Henderson, you, you're on mute. All right. Good morning, seventh grade. Oh, I can't hear that. Good morning, seventh grade. Good morning, Ms. Henderson. Are we ready? We are always ready. Now, seventh grade has decided that they have their own background. 
that they're going to do their presentation. So seventh grade, go ahead, get ready. Miss Henderson messed up their feng shui when I came in. So I have three of our lovely seventh graders who are going to present to us. And good morning, Miss May. Good morning. Welcome to seventh grade. Are we ready? We are always ready. Let us begin. Vote. Loud and proud. So what is our GRC topic? Um, our GRC topic is teen mental health. Excellent. And why did we choose that? Because we care about teens. Loud and proud. Because we care about teens' mental health and their mental states. Excellent. We had uh, we spent a lot of time narrowing it down because we had a bunch of other topics we were interested in, and this connected all of them together. And what have we learned? What are some of the things that we've learned already, Randy? Something we've learned so far is that CPD gets over $4 million every day, and mental health only gets $9 million a year. That wow. means that policing gets oh, more money than, than mental health in three days. Well then, that's our DRC. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for those facts, seven grade. That's very alarming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, seventh grade, amazing. Another uh, important uh, topic. And we also kind of know, what do people say? Like you follow the money, right? And so um, where we see money going is where we see the priorities being placed. And so unfortunately, policing has a history in this country um, of being um, something considered important, but well, I'm not going to say what I want to say, um, <laughs> has, it can be very problematic, right? Especially to black and brown people. So that's such an important um, topic. Thank you so much, seventh grade. We're going to move on to our graduating class, our graduating eighth graders and Miss Parker's homeroom class. Good morning, eighth grade. Good morning, Ms. Jefferson. All right, are we ready? We are always ready. Oh, and I cannot forget our eighth grade teacher. Good morning, Ms. Parker. Good morning, Ms. Jefferson. All right, let's go, Madison. Our GRC topic is on human Madison. trafficking. The definition of human trafficking is an unlawful act of transporting or coercing people in order to benefit from their work of service, typically in the form of forced labor or sexual exfoliation. There are six types of human trafficking. Forced labor, sex trafficking, organ trafficking, child soldier, child marriage, and death bear bondage. The age group, the age groups that are most affected are between 19 and 33. Usually the average age or the age that has come out to like come out about the human trafficking is 27. And in a lot of countries that, you know, admit to human trafficking, there are 30% are women. The races that are mostly affected are Native Americans, African Americans, and Hispanic communities. And the sexualities that are mostly affected are the, is the LGBT community and individuals with disabilities, undocumented immigrants, Runaway and homeless youth and low-income individuals are also affected by human trafficking. Great job. Thank you so much. Were there any other topics that you guys discussed before choosing your topic, Avery? Yeah, we did. Okay, what were they, Amelia? I can't remember them. Okay. You had a lot of different topics. Okay. Loud and proud, Iman. Um, yeah, that's a lot. Okay. We also Animal cruelty. We also thought about continuing our GRC from last year before we continued on something else. But we wanted to go in another way. Conrad, do you remember another one that we chose or we thought about? Um, okay. Anyone else? Yes, okay. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Great job. Thank you so much. Eighth grade. All right. Thank you so much. Eighth grade. So we got an idea of all of our 
um, topics for uh, grass, our grassroots campaigns, all of the actions that will be placed around our grassroots campaigns, I'm sure you all will be working to develop. Um, and then even narrowing down on some of our topics, because I know some of our topics might start large, but as we do our research, as we uh, continue to learn more about our topic, we can narrow down and think about something specific we can do to tackle that issue and that, and that problem. And one thing I know is that I feel like a lot of our topics that we choose for our GRC campaigns are ongoing. So that means we might start something this year and continue it the following year because these are large societal problems that impact brown and black folks. So um, I'm excited to work with you all on your GRC campaigns or your GRC projects. And I'm excited to know um, how I can help and how we, our community can be of help to one another. So while I'd, I know we're running short on time, I do wanna go through a couple of announcements. Um, so I'm just going to uh, replace. So I do wanna go through a couple of announcements before we move on um, to the, uh, the rest of our day. Uh, we know that this next week is a busy week for our community. Next week, starting Monday, October 18th is our book fair. The book fair will be all week. And so I'm gonna hold up this flyer. This week, our grades, um, kindergarten first or today kindergarten first second third fourth and fifth grade will receive a scholastic book fair review and this this review is just giving you an idea of the books that you will see at the book fair so the book fair is all next week our scholastic book fair please make sure you uh bring your money um, sometimes I get the question, well, how much money should I bring? You can buy books as low as they're, sometimes they're $1, $2 books that are available, um, uh, the, at most $20. So make sure you're bringing, um, you bring your money next week, all week we have our book fair. The next thing we will have is our family literacy night. Family literacy night is Oct uh, August 21st. 20th. That's on a Wednesday. So next Wednesday, please make sure you all come. This uh, event is virtual. So a link of a, lit, a Zoom link will be sent to your families and there will be playing plen uh, many different literacy activities and games. And uh, we get to come dressed in our pajamas. So that's always exciting. Another thing we want to announce is our fundraiser. We have a fundraiser coming up and I am going to let Ms. Henderson talk a little bit more about that. Hello again, BLA. So if you are a returning student, you know all about this fundraiser as well as your families. We are partnering with the school store again, and this is an organization that helps raise funds for your teachers as well as yourself inside of the classroom. And so today, Ms. Henderson is going to come around and I will bring an envelope that looks like this. Do we all see it? And this is a welcome packet that's going to introduce our fundraiser where your parents can simply email a link to many different people in their social networks where they can donate money to your classroom. And guess what? The cool thing is your teacher will get the money that's donated to your classroom and they can buy so many amazing things for your class. And for you signing up and having others to donate, Ms. Henderson will have a cool toy for you. It's called a Backpack Pal. Um, here on this flyer, this is just an example. I forgot to grab a toy for us, but all friends who sign up, they will receive a backpack toy. Now these toys are really cool. You can get a rare toy like a pelican, or you can get an iguana or a panther that is very exciting for you to display either on your wrist or your hand, 
or keep it on your backpack. So I will come around today to give everyone their packet and remember to have your parents to sign up to help support your classroom and to get the word out that they can help donate items, resources for each classroom here at BLA. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, Ms. Henderson. BLA, today was a pleasure. I learned a lot. I hope you all learned a lot. We are going to end our assembly at this time. I am going to end um, with uh, our seven strong Harambe. Um, I, I'm hoping our community is doing the seven strong Harambe with me and Ms. Henderson. Ms. Henderson is going to help me out with the seven strong Harambe. Oh, oh, oh wait, Ms. Coney Baje. I yes. have Ms. Spikes here who is going to do our Friday, but we forgot all about our Friday funny. I got so caught up in the GRC projects that <laughs> I forgot about the Friday Fundy. Funny. Go ahead and let's turn it over to Miss Spikes. Hi, BLA. So I thought this was funny. Miss Henderson thought it was funny. I hope you like it too. We have um, Halloween coming up. So it's kind of a little um, celebration kind of joke, but it is what do you call food that you find on a spooky, haunted beach what a sand witch Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> a sand witch hilarious thank you so much miss spikes thank you awesome 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 that was hilarious so i do know one day one thing we can definitely do is uh ensure that that friday funny is from yeah, I, I, I did forget what? All right, good people. So um, we are going to end with our seven strong Harambe. I am going to um, have Miss Henderson and I do seven strong Harambe. I think Mr. Reed came in. Not sure if he wants his seventh grade to or second grade. Oh, thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you for jumping in. I love it. I love it. Um, Mr. Reed is going to also help us with the seven strong Harambe. So let me make sure I have everybody pinned here. Um, so that way we're all doing Harambe at, uh, together. So on the count of Jale 2, we're going to start our Harambe. And at the end, we're not going to scream. Oh, were you coming in for, I see their hands are raised. Oh, they're putting their right hand up. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and at Jale 2 on, uh, we're going to start the seventh Harambe. On the seventh Harambe, we are not going to uh, yell. We're just going to say Harambe real strong. All right. Right hand up. Ja, le, tu. Harambe. 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 Ashe, Harambe, good people. Have an awesome day. I will see you all in the hallway. Peace.